Hello everyone. Today we're making caramelized onions. This goes amazing on anything meaty like steaks or burgers and is personally one of my favorite toppings for anything. Let's get started. So now you're going to get some onions, and you're going to either have them or quarter them. Um, I did a mix of both. Um, here I quarter them, but I just like doing a bit of a mix. And then you're just going to slice them into pieces. And this is going to make them nice and long. You don't want to do a dice, or then they're going to be too small. Now you're going to transfer these to a bowl that's way larger than this. I used the wrong size. Now after you transfer those onions to a way larger bowl, you're going to cut three more onions. Now this may look like a lot of onions, and it is, four onions is a lot, but this is going to cook down until there's barely anything left in your pan. Now you're going to grab a relatively large pan and turn your heat to around a three. Now you're going to add three tablespoons of butter. Now once you let that melt down, I just want to remind you, this is an extremely long process. This can take up to two and a half hours and even longer. And you don't want your heat too high, or then your onions will start burning. Now if you need to, you can cut your butter into pieces with your spoon, and this will make sure it melts a bit quicker. Now once your butter's melted, smack those onions down in that pan so we can get this process going. Now you're going to add two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar to your onions. Now you're just going to let these cook down a little bit and you should wait until they start turning translucent and I'll see you whenever they start doing that. Now you're going to increase your heat to around a five to get that process going a bit quicker. Now for around the first five minutes, it's gonna seem like nothing's happening, but that's part of the process. These take forever. The good thing is you can take, make them a day ahead and put them in the fridge and then just heat them up on the stove on a low heat to get them ready. Now after a while your onions are going to start turning translucent and their skins will start turning pink. Now once your onions reach this stage, you're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar just to make them caramelized. Now we're going to get this process started and after you've added all your ingredients, you're just going to start stirring every five, seven-ish minutes just to make sure they're nice and deep brown. It should be very, very dark brown. Now, once your onions are around halfway through the process, you may see that they start drying out. So you'll add one more tablespoon of butter just to make them not as dry. Now, if you want a bit more of a balsamic vinegar flavor, just add a splash at this stage. This will give it more of that balsamic vinegar flavor that you may be looking for. Now, if you're looking for a bit more of a sweet flavor, you can add some white sugar just to take out that balsamic flavor if you may have added a bit too much. Now, once your onions start looking like this, that's it. This has taken two and a half hours at this point. And once they look like this, reward yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've just spent two and a half hours of your life making the best topping on any meat. Now once they get to this stage, take them off the heat. Now, after those two and a half hours, you will be rewarded with these amazing caramelized onions. They go amazing on anything meat, and they also go very well with blue cheese, if that's your thing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.